how are you guys doing on this fine Saturday afternoon? Hey, he's been experimenting, putting fluid in the tires. And I've been doing other stuff. I've been doing farming stuff, but it'll be coming out on camera later. But look, we've been pumping fluid into that inside dual tire right there for like 40 minutes. And I don't even think we're halfway yet. But it's good weather. The sun is shining outside. And I'm going ripping. So the fluid's going to have to wait. We've made one pass. We have not been ripping for five minutes. Sheer to boat. Junk. Good thing I bought a box of boats and tools because I knew this was going to happen. Jeez, I wish stuff would break that easy because I didn't have to use a hammer or anything. The bolt, the broken bolt slid right out and I slid the new one right in, tightened it up, and we're back and running in less than 30 seconds. You guys can, oh wait, the sun's in your face, hang on. Can you guys see that right there? There is a John Deere seven shank ripper for sale. Come get it. So, I just got out there and kicked it down, and I got the ripper lower on the ground, and we're backing up, and it just falls right out, and it's that easy, but I, it's still for sale. Seriously, it is for sale. So the reason why we would even consider selling this ripper is because we need to learn from our mistakes. But we bought the cheap ripper at the auction because we never ripped before and we didn't know how it was going to go and we didn't want to invest a lot of money into something that we didn't know was going to pay for itself. Well, we're not 100% sure but the one field we ripped this spring before we planted was our best field out of all of our farms and it was the only one that was ripped. The point I'm getting to is, is we're in the fall time now, so we got residue on the fields. And as you just saw, what happened is, is all that trash, bean stubble, corn stalks, wraps around those rippers, or shanks. And then it plugs, plugs, plugs. And sometimes I've had it push material so much that it's coming out the front of the tractor. Hang on, we're spinning out. Spinning out, what we do? Push out, ow! Oh, that didn't sound good. Look, it's happened right there. Again, you guys can't see. But, we need dish shanks in front of our reaper to cut the residue so that way it doesn't plug up. And oh, now our auto track is offline. I'm a mess. The reaper's plugged up, the auto track's offline. Who the heck knows where we're going now? Sorry, my camera battery died. But what I was getting to is, is we need a ripper with some disc blades in front of the shanks so that way it cuts the residue and it doesn't wrap onto the shanks and then we'd be golden. But there's nothing wrong with this ripper, it just needs to be ran in conditions where there's nothing that can hold onto the shanks and build up because it's a major pain in the butt. You guys have been with me lately, I've not been around lately with my dad, but he has had all, he's got three projects going on here all at once. He is experiencing the joys of washing the combine. I think he's getting ready to start his second pass on the combine. And our combine has had several hydraulic leaks this year and has caused dust to stick to the thing like we put super glue on it and just super glue dirt to the thing. He's, how much joy have you experienced lately with that? Yeah, we're not big on washing equipment, but I don't see how people can't wash the combine. We've had to Oh, it's a mess. It's a nightmare. And then we oh, had yeah, our, yeah. our tractor oh, here. This is not ours, by the way, but we were borrowing it again because one, we were putting fluid in the left side tire, but he went to go mow a ditch. He turned the blades on, bam, hydraulic hose blows, 
this whole side of the tractor cab hood yeah, everything on the back of the window on the, the back. back windshield everything's covered in hydraulic fluid and the leak was in the front <laughs> And then we're putting fluid in the tires. It takes about like a minute per gallon because all the fluid has to go through a tiny valve stem. And it's a very we're, slow we're process. We're saving money by doing it ourselves, but there's no way that people do, do it for a living do it the same way. If there mm -hmm. is, then no wonder it costs so much because <laughs> it takes so much time. It's up 175 gallons of water with about, what, 67, 70 gallons of methanol. And it's been sitting in the freezer for two days and it hadn't froze a little cup of it so well and the reason we're doing that is because if it freezes you put that stuff in a tire and we don't have a heated shop and all of our equipment stays in climate controlled areas we don't want frozen fluid in our tires during the winter because have any of you bought a tractor tire like one tractor tire is like 800 dollars right well, it was pre-COVID. Pre I don't know what it is now. Yeah, we ain't had to buy tires. And that was for the 18 fours by 38. Those are 46. So much no bigger tire. tire. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going ripping. I got a camera and a drone with me. No and time. adult supervision. Yeah, and adult supervision. My mom's riding with me today. But well, there'll be an adult around. It seems like some of them they don't have to have an adult right there with them <laughs> which Special is good one. yeah which is good that's how it should be we ain't had that privilege yet but i'm gonna go have fun in my tractor i get about three acres done an hour because we're moving so fast i think we're making compaction mounds because we're pulling up chunks of dirt <laughs> you know i watch the rippers on youtube and they just make a nice little thing and watch out there's a bee it's on your hat are you gonna get it off? It went. But we really wanted, didn't want a disc because we try to do all no-till and this is just to rip up where it does minimum uh, stuff. But it's hard when the top five or six or foot is compacted and you pull up chunks. Yeah. <laughs> Once I have the, you guys back with me later, because I'm not sure if I'll get done ripping today, I can show you guys what we've been experiencing. He's gonna have fun. You're with him today. I'll see you guys later. Are you guys okay? You fell off. Yeah, you guys smacked face first straight into the dirt. That's how you guys went down. Welcome back, y'all. I forgot about the camera. So, I have washed the combine for the second time. And about the third, oh, about the fourth or fifth time for where we had the hydraulic leaks. And I think I'm gonna call it good. There ain't too much more I can do. The way that stuff sticks on there, you almost got to hit it at four different angles and look I've watched this spot four times at least and you can't get behind it and look still bringing off stuff that's stuck on there I'm not gonna fool sitting here all day washing this thing I mean it's pretty clean it's a lot cleaner than what I would normally get it. I am going to foam it. Uh, 
I'm sure some of y'all have seen that phone people use on YouTube and we did too and we don't like to scrub stuff and so that's why we bought a jug of it to see if we could spray it on a, our combine or any equipment vehicles and not have to really scrub and it and it do a decent job I know if you scrub with it it's gonna be a lot better we have not seen those results we're not sold on buying another jug of it but maybe we're doing something wrong because everybody else seems to love it so maybe you know I don't know you know why do they love it I don't know maybe it works for them it's not really working that well for us but if we scrubbed I think it would probably do great but then you could probably use soap but well there you have it all foamed up and done rinsed off it looks good when it's shiny when it's wet and shiny but when it dries where we didn't scrub it see like here we didn't scrub that so I don't know what we're doing different than everybody else because uh look at that right there seems like everybody else when they spray it on there it brings that stuff right off and they just spray it right off same thing we did it just does it like I said we haven't seen the results of it that we've seen on there so maybe I need to call them ask them what we're doing wrong that was the whole point is we don't want to scrub so sorta doesn't do too much more than water right now like I said that may be a user error on our part too so we won't we'll reserve judgment and we will try to get some uh, professional opinions on that but I've done put everything up so I've got somewhere to go so I will catch y'all later thank you guys for watching this video hope they enjoy it remember faith family farm see you in the next one